Episode 56, ACX, latest up. We in the building, another week. What's up, fellas? What's good? What's good? You know what I'm saying, man? Uh, it's the one and only, the host with the most. <laughs> the host with the most. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? Where did you get that from? <laughs> my, my friends called me the new Arsenio man. Hall, so I'm just man, rolling with man. it, that's, man. The, that's the host with the ball. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. to blow everybody up. Uh, nah, nah. Man, it's your boy Bola. I'm here. Yo, it's Bentley. What's going down? Man, I got a special, we have a special guest in the building today. Uh, quick story, man. My brother raced home one day and said, Phil, it's somebody colder than you. <laughs> and he's only in the ninth grade. Or I think he was in the eighth grade at the time, maybe. And I say, man, get out of here. Get out of here. You got to be kidding me. Nobody's better than me. <laughs> right? And he took me to this man game. Basketball we talking about. I was like, you know what? He is better than me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it, it only took me one time, man. But we have a Houston basketball legend, just a basketball legend, period, man. Tommy Mason Griffin, what's up, TMG? So, TMG, welcome to the show, bro. Man, thanks for having me. Man, listen. So, the first question that we ask um, all of our guests is, what got you into sneakers? Uh, like ninety five, ninety six. Okay, I was in uh, I was in kindergarten. Damn. Yeah, I was, <laughs> Damn. Yeah, my mom took me to get the uh the white elevens, Columbia joints. Ooh. That was my first ones. Ooh, that's a that's a good pickup right there. Uh, man. I wore them at the store. You oh. <laughs> but I think yeah. everybody did that at that age. I, I, I did it to like fourth grade. Yeah, I think everybody Come did on. it to like, yeah, I did it to like fourth grade. Everybody, yeah, you want to go back to doing that yeah. shit. Fuck that. Just, just, start doing just it take it now. out. Yeah, yeah. Right no. I'm, I'm like two, three whiz like before Monday. Uh -huh. I'm already done played in the Saturday game. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm winning them again on Sunday, then I'm winning them again on Monday. Wow, facts. No, that's what's up. That's what's up. So was that the first sneaker that got you really into sneakers, or was there was there more? Like when did you become independent with it? With well, the kick I did. Um, I did Jordans from. Like pre K kindergarten to like fourth fourth grade. Mm -hmm. When I got to fourth grade, I started doing the um, the Gary Paytons. Mm -hmm. I did the Kobe's. Mm -hmm. The Adidas Kobe's. The, yeah, Adidas Kobe's. Mm -hmm. I did the Questions too. Okay. Okay. That was like my first few shoes I saw the Jordans. Got you. Got you. No. What, 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 as you start adventuring out, what did you like start hooping in, adventuring out in though? Because that's a difference, um, right? What was I hooping in at that time? I was hooping in the questions, hooping in the Kobe's. Mm. I had the Pippins with the the flights with the with the line across the side. Of yeah. The oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I had them Pippins in uh, white and black, white and red, and all white. Yeah, them all. Uh, let me see what was uh. But this was like I was more like heavy on Jordan. But when the Jordan sell out, I'm not. I'm I'm cool. Yeah. Like I'm finna get something else. I'm finna yeah, get yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. Nike basketball. Out. Like okay. that's why I started getting to the other gotcha. ones. Gotcha. That makes sense. Nike that's basketball was lit. Man. Oh, yeah. super yeah. lit. Like, we, it was fine. Like if you ain't get a pair of Jays, like mm -hmm. that was oh, I got like, these up tempo. It was, it was like two uh, the Barclays Nike basketball yeah. shoes. Yeah. 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 For, sure. Uh, for sure. And then you can you can actually wear them with clothes. Like you can dress them up. Not actually just have them to hoop. A lot of people did though. A lot of people stick with the Jordans, the Air Force Ones, and the Air Max. Yeah, okay, yeah. But if you was really on it, you was you was everything. you was gonna do everything, yeah, right? Yeah, you was yeah. gonna do whatever was fresh. So, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, that up tempo, that was the shit though. Like yeah. that's when you start flexing your money around. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, tempo. Sure. Because the tempos was what, like 160, 180? At least. At least. Like, yeah. It was more than the Jays. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. 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 So look, T, when you start, um. When you when you got older and you start hooping, did you start getting kicks for free? How how did that how did that play into your your kick rotation? Like, uh, seventh grade, I got my first Adidas package. I had like four pair T Max, the T Max. Uh, it's a perfect segue. Right, <laughs> T Max right. twos. Yeah, the T Max twos, huh? That's I had the T Max twos, the T Max threes, and I love the T Max fives. Okay. I didn't get the T Mac Five, so but I love the T Mac. My favorite. Team. That was swag with the. That's your fire. That's your fire. Chance said, uh, he didn't like him. But. Yeah, Chance did say he didn't like him. But look, T, how did you? How did? How did you? How did you go about? Yeah, at that time. 
I was not only Adidas athlete for seventh grade. I went to the hoops after that one year. Houston okay. hoops. Yeah, okay, so so when you transfer from like Adidas to a Nike program, do they have a rep that reach out to you and ask you like what what you want, what what what's coming in? Yeah, they do. Oh, that's special. <laughs> they, 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 they got special. they got reps in every region of the uh, of the country. Yeah. So my rep was in Houston and one was in Dallas. Mm-hmm. They gonna get with me before the season, during the season. And right before AAU season started, that's love, right? Look at Bowler face. Man, <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, I was doing like four to six pad at a time, like from three different people. Oh mm, wow! Yeah. So your rotation was crazy. I was killing the game. Middle school. How were you picking like which shoe to go play in, or like because you you want to AAU like, tournaments at that age, like you going for three four days. My teammates getting a lot of heat too, so I'm trying to have some on more exclusive than them. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm it's saying? a competition. And, and the one that stick out was the Hirachi uh, 2K4s. Ooh. That was a great basketball shoe. I feel like I was the youngest kid in the country with them. <laughs> really? <laughs> Only person that's had them was uh, Jimmy Nelson in the tournament. Mm. Jimmy Nelson and Delonte West was wearing the Hirachi 2K4s. I was already wearing them to Welch. Wow. wow. That's that's middle school, in right? Middle school. So, yeah, man, this is this is crazy. So I I I uh, have came to many of of, of of my bro games. And not just one pair, I had like four or five colorways. Or the Hirachi, or the Hirachi 2K4s. Before I seen ki- like Nick Wise, maybe they had a pair, mm-hmm. and Jimmy Nelson. That's it. I ain't seen no for like a year. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's just for like a year. That's just like Licks. so. We've had two guests in a row who have just had kicks, you know, just thrown at them. Like it's it is what it is. You can have anything that you want. Pretty much, and that's that's a beautiful, especially when you playing ball. Oh, for sure, that's you bad. know what I'm saying. That you always want to have on a fresh pair of kicks. Were you, were you like, did you get anything in and be like, nah, you know what, I'm not playing in that. Like, this is strictly staying for the streets. See what 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 was wrong with that was they give you everything in one size. So I've been wearing a 10 and a half, 11 since like seven, eight grade. And they are send me all my shoes in the 11, even mm-hmm. like exclusive forces and stuff. And y'all know the forces run big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wear my forces in a 10. Mm-hmm. So I I get off the forces. Okay. And yeah, I like to wear a 10 and a half. Got you. And my yeah. kick around. All right. Dang, come on, come on. Mm-hmm. So so speaking of sneakers, what's been your, what's been your latest sneaker that you cop lately? Uh, I just grabbed uh, the Laundry Boy Puma Suede collab. Mm, I've been hearing about the, that. Um, I was telling Jay, the owner, the owner of Puma and the owner of uh, Adidas are brothers, mm. and their parents had a cleaning company with the dry cleaning and the laundry, mm-hmm. and they they worked for their parents delivering the clothes. Okay, and both of them grew up to have franchise companies. Yeah. That's the dopest pattern me right now. Okay, okay. okay. Got to find it. Y'all seen them? I have seen them. You know seen them? I, I got to check them out for sure. I'm, I'm always. I always give people kudos for not giving into the hype what everybody else is doing. So I appreciate that just no. off the rip. Back because, Thank you, bro. I Thank mean, you. like everybody, it seems like we talked about a couple weeks ago, everybody want to come in and buy the hype shoe. Like yes, there's yes. a lot of like general release stuff that you can walk into a store and you can right. get. Like right. we can't ignore that. Right, right, right. Let's not right. do that. No, nah, for sure. So TMG, we moving towards, we're going to go towards high school, right? So... In high school, you had some big moments. I've seen clips from ESPN where they've asked you about your biggest games and things of that nature. Give me your top five games in high school where you wore a – what sneakers did you wear? High school. Top five. Mm-hmm. And tell us about the performance. Tell us a little I bit about the I cool grade threes my sophomore year versus Katie Taylor. We won the game. I had 48 points, and I had them on early. That's one. Uh-huh. Um, um, I say the uh, the Carolina twenty threes. Okay, I seen Ooh, the guy uh, yeah. CJ just came on with him. Yeah. We lost by like thirty to Yakes, but what? I had them joints on. <laughs> what, what, uh- <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what, uh, what was y'all play? That was a regular season game? Yeah, it was a regular okay, season okay. game. Beginning of the year. Okay. What'd you drop that game? I still probably had like 30. Yeah. Without yeah. a doubt. What, what, Nat, give me one more. Um, I did the black and red Crazy 8 mm. versus Aldine, like my junior year. Mm. We beat them. 
uh, had like 40, 43 points. That's one of the big games I had with exclusives. Let me see what else did I read? What I have on the game that was just heat. Houston legend. Um, nah, that's a fact. <laughs> Crazy eight black and red joints. Them joints Man, is nice. What did I have on? I wore everything though. Yeah, you had everything. I wore, I wore all the fives. I wore the threes. I wore the eights. Mm-hmm. I had six pair of aqua eights. Mm-hmm. Six pair. Wow. I love the eights. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, let, let me ask you this. I still got the shorts. The matching shorts. Your, so like, um, I might throw them on. <laughs> your, um, your McDonald's All American attire and your Joy Brand, I guess it's the Joy Brand All Star game. What did you do with those kicks and those that that memo? I gave them to my coaches. They framed them at their crib. Oh yeah. man, that's love. I gave the ring away too. You got the ring away? Got the ring away. You should have gave that to us. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Nah, that's dope, bro. That's. Do you dope. ever go back and ask to see that stuff, or like, I mean, uh, Coach Phillips, he passed away, and yeah. I'm still good friends with his son. Okay, so okay. he asked me like, "Did T you want me to bring this stuff back by the house?" I was like, "Nah, just keep it." Yeah, for sure. So that's he, a- they still got it. That's, that's, a, that's love. Um, was you expecting to be a McDonald's All American all through your your years? Because we have a yeah. McDonald's All American on the show. She's not here, yeah. of course, <laughs> and, and she rubs it in my face all the time. But um, like, was you expecting that? Like, yeah, I watch I watch the game every year on TV mm-hmm. uh, since I was like fifth grade. Mm. So I watched it every year and just hoping and praying that I can be in it one day. Ah, that's and the big. National tournament that I seen here in Houston was the Houston vs. Nation, yes. the Houston Academy tournament. Yeah, I remember. I remember the first year came in. Uh, I went to that tournament. Bella was there. No, I went from um, like seven, eight grade all the way through, and I would get dropped off at like eight, nine in the morning and stay till like eight, nine at night. Just watching. I seen everybody. Mm-hmm. I you had it. I seen mom. everybody. Bello and Oak Hill came here. Shout out to Tweety Carter. Shout out to Corey Fisher. Shout out to B Jennings. Shout out to Scoop Jardine. Name some names right man, there, man. Shout out to y'all. I was watching y'all at that tournament. Nah, Tweety Carter, a legend, man. No, that boy, no. that boy was getting mad buckets. So we got some picks of you, T. We we uh we we picked some picks uh of you. Um, of course you don't have an IG, so we went to Google. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and you know when people say Google me, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Google me. What you mean? You really have to Google, bro. And when you when you Google his name, it's some stuff that's gonna come up, man. For real, for real. So, um, T, what we do? It, ben, go ahead and introduce what we do. All right. So what we do is all of us pick a picture, and then you have to guess which one of us picked the picture, mm-hmm. and then we kind of just discuss the picture a little bit. I think in this case, a lot of us are just gonna discuss why we picked the picture, mm-hmm. considering your shoes. Yeah, man. The rotation was crazy. Jesus we Christ. See. So this first picture here. LeBron Soldier. Mm-hmm. Who you think picked this one? LeBron Soldier. I'm gonna say Phil. I'm gonna say Freak. Did I put? Did I pick that picture? No. No. I, I, I think I'm a bigger LeBron fan than you. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I ain't know, Benny. I thought it was. I, it was, I knew it was a LeBron fan. I thought it was Freak. I ain't know. I got it. I got into the Soldier myself a little Man. bit. I, I like that shoe a lot, and I seen that. Man, that I love. Away. I love a few of the like the first three, four Soldiers was serious, serious, and comfortable. Yeah. They got the Nike Zoom bottom. They good traction, everything. Yeah. I wonder yeah, why they stopped them that joints line. were serious. Now nah, they still got them. I, they still got them. They still had a social yeah, line. They, the first three, four was. Man, I love playing basketball in that shoe, and you yeah. got a special OU edition on. Did Man, they have I OU? Did. On? We did them joints like we did them joints like new pad like every three games. Wow, mm-hmm. how you feel about? I know y'all had some stuff then, but now you look back and they Jordan. Like, do you get some stuff from them still now? Man, I'm Man, you- I'm working on the U of H plug. I'm working on the U of H when U of H got and and the old staff from OU is at. You oh, they are. Okay. They are right. Yeah. They yeah. are. Yeah. They actually yeah. are. Okay, yeah, that so makes sense. Gotcha. I'm working on that. That's love. Go. Okay, let's go to the next one. What is that? So it's a little grainy. It's a little grainy. We get it together. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll find a better pick. White 23s. Oh, that yeah. is. That's what that yeah. is. Yeah. Was okay. this the game you were talking about? No, nah, this is an AU game. Okay. Yeah. All oh, yeah, right. So we did the um the white ones, the black ones, and the Carolina ones. Ooh. All right. So who you think picked that joint? You watched the show, so you, you got to know who, who liked that shoe. 
I'm gonna go bowling with this one. Nah, that's me. That's, you. <laughs> that's me, bro. That that shoe is. I think the 23 is a slept on. It is. Class. Is it slept I think on? You no wear, I think you can wear it too with with, yes. with regular clothes. That that one. That you one. Remember sure. why it was slept on too? That price tag was ridiculous. Two twenty nine. Two twenty. Mm-hmm. And I had twenty every single shoe. I had to grab. I grabbed them joints early, bro. Two twenty. I every grabbed single them shoe. joints early, but I slept on it. I never. I never even looked at it twice. For real, really? man. If you yeah, go man. back, if you go back, oh, it's a you would love those. You would just like the details. You know, no, I, I love the shoe. Okay, I would yeah. love to have one now. It's yeah. just too high. Yeah, yeah it's high. The, the ones Stupid I would wanted. The too motorsports. High. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. all mm-hmm. of that. So, T, tell us about this. This picture. What? What? What was this game? What? What was going on here? I was gonna ask you who was on your team that year. I was, at, was uh, I was in Virginia at the Boo Williams tournament at the Boo Williams, Boo Williams facility. The GOAT. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boo Williams gym. I don't know who was playing, but yeah. my team was uh, me, Jamal Finn, Garland Green, mm. Tiny Gallon, uh, LJ Rose, Jermichael Reese. Yeah, squad. That's a team to, right there. Toby played with us. Augustine oh. Ruby. Augustine Ruby still playing right now, playing Euro League, doing his thing. Okay. Shout That's out to him. Up. Shout out to Augustine. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Last pick. You know who, who you chose. Man, Mr. Kobe. Kobe, Kobe Fours. Man. So so y'all just got OU exclusives like that? I was getting them from my people. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting them from my people. Nah. I was gonna say they weren't branded OU at that point. Yeah. So nah, the, the, see, the, the, right? you know, like um, some of the Nike schools got the elite, got the elite uh, deal where they get like some of the exclusive stuff oh, and okay. stuff. People, we didn't, we didn't have the elite deal. Oh, we was okay. getting like the the regular, the player player edition stuff. Yeah, okay. we didn't get those though. We got a lot of the LeBron soldiers mm-hmm. and a few other joints I didn't even like. Okay. okay. Yeah, I picked this this. This pick, cause uh, you still had those. Nah, I don't. What did like, you do with them sneakers? From I was giving a lot of sneakers away. Like I went, like I told you, we was getting a new pad like three every three games. Mm-hmm. So I was only wearing my shoes two, three times, new ones. Mm-hmm. But my my like my walk around heat, that was more. I was keeping that for longer for longer times, but I still was getting rid of it too. Just how my life went. Yeah, yeah. how I was yeah. moving around and everything. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's do, cool. Do you look back and be like, fuck? Or <laughs> yeah, I do. look back and be like, I feel like, good call. I feel like I'm like at least three, four hundred pairs in. And I, right now, I probably got like 60 pairs of shoes, 65 pairs of shoes. Wow. wow. And I feel like I did at least like 400 pairs, at least. Yeah. I had like, I, I had a, I had a hundred, I had a hundred pack like three different times. Easy. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, you getting them in the rate you getting them. I mean, that's that's crazy. So so fast forward, because I know that you heavy into fashion. You know what I'm saying? You've been into it. We always talk about it. Um, I know you went over to Germany uh, and played ball, of course. Um, What is your love for fashion? And and, and, and tell us about, you know, how that how that came about. Um, Just. Just trying to stay ahead of the curve. Okay. You know, uh, I was probably like more sneaker guy all the way up to like 11th grade, 12th grade. Mm-hmm. Then I got into, I want to have the, the crazy fit on mm-hmm. or the fit nobody win. Right. By 12th grade. Gotcha. Gotcha. Going to Germany, you know, that experience, that's going to that's gonna super expand you if you tapped in, tapped into that. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and without having the cable, like you, if you have cable in Germany, you only having like like eight to twelve channels. Oh man! So I'm on I'm on YouTube all day. Uh-huh. I'm browsing sites. I know what's finna go on sale. I know what's finna drop. Yeah. I know who behind it. I know the color. I know everything. Yeah, that's how much research and time I put into it. Got you, got you. <laughs> and whatever resonate with me, like. Whoever it is, like if I just resonate with him, like when I go read his story and how he got into the shoes mm-hmm. and how he rock his stuff, I'm a I'm a feel it more mm-hmm. and I'm a buy into it. I think I think that's what we talk about a lot on this show is we don't really care about like the hype. It's more about the story that yeah. goes into the sneaker. Right. And once you really tap in with the with the story, it makes you want the sneaker more. It makes you appreciate right. the sneaker more. You mm-hmm. got to be tapped into yourself first. Right. Like you got to know your own style. And you gon' if you got your own style and you know what it is and how it feel, what's comfortable for you. Mm-hmm. When you reach, when you get into these other people boxes and mixes, you gon' 
you gonna know what resonates no, with you. For sure. sure. Facts. For sure, for sure. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead I was about to say that union too. Delivering it. I wasn't I was like, I want a pair. Yeah. When I see them delivering this fucking butterflies in a box. Yeah. Now you made me want to shoot. Yeah. Like you made me like want they, to shoot. Wow. Like, cause it's a story of you. You, you, you love the rollout. Wow. Right now I'm like, oh, a butterfly I get it. flying away. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great story. Here yeah. we go. Now wow. I'm the delivery, the the the, the they, they union. I think Nike and like whoever they're collabing with now are actually putting like stories behind what they do. It's not just we're gonna drop the union one, mm-hmm. and then everybody just go crazy by. Now we have stories behind everything that they're dropping, and then now Nike's really tapping into to making you feel the shoe now. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think it's really dope. I even um you know you speaking of tapping into a lot of different things. I even listened to uh, that be social. With Joey Fresh Goods yeah. mm-hmm. yesterday, last night I was listening to it. Mm-hmm. And that's dope what New Balance is doing. You know what I mean? New Balance is telling a story of how, like, hey, we've seen this opportunity to step into a black place and be like, oh, you know what? We're going to stand up with y'all too. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, so they really got into how New Balance is really like a black culture mm-hmm. and how Joey and his team has not only made a mark with being in Chicago, they've made a mark in New Balance headquarters to kind of mm-hmm. move around. So that's dope. That yeah. was dope. I Shot. like the 2002 ones. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Joe Fresh Goods. Joe Fresh Goods joint? Yeah. What size you wear? 10 and a half. Can you wear 11? Um, I have to try it. Uh, yeah. Talk These are that, 11. That, um, that 550, uh, the, the Joe Fresh Goods joints. I, I'm on the fence on that one. I finally five. asked me about it today. What? On the fence? No, I'm not on the fence about the 550. I oh. want the 550. Yeah, the 550. But for somehow, some crazy way, I got a invoice for the 220, 220. in my inbox, and I've been deciding if I want to buy it or not. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That, that joint nice too, though. I don't know. You don't like it? I don't know. I think, I just, I think I just like the 550 that much more, yeah, the, yeah. where it's just making me not like that one. Is yeah. it canvas? Yeah, it's canvas. Well, hopefully Joe holler at us, man. Holla he holler at us. He holler at us a couple it. months ago, man. Joe, good people. Shout out Muffy. He might put us in the door, man, because Joe be having shoes just laid around. It was last time he was like, here, here y'all go. <laughs> so, right. so now nah, that's cool. Here we go. But um, T, it's this story that I want to get into, man. One day, I'm with you and my brother at the house, and you tell me about this story about the GOAT, Michael Jordan, coming into a, a, a locker room. And point you out, saying you the one that been killing my son. I mean, I mean that, that's, hey. special. <laughs> that's special. I, I played his son. I played his son like four times uh-huh. between eighth grade and my junior year. Mm-hmm. We won our four times. I had I had some cool games. <laughs> I had some cool games. When you say you had some cool had games, some like cool. what you mean you had some cool games? Like twenty five here and there, yeah. twenty here and there. Yeah. Eight threes, one game. But this the goat talking to you but like was he so- at the games? Did you know he was there or he just knew that you had did this stuff? He coming to watch his son. Mm-hmm. You know, but he So you saw him in the stands and everything? Like I saw him like he on the baseline, court right. side. I would have fainted. Yeah. <laughs> you walk back to Mike and just faint? You know Marcus Jordan, no, that's my dude, though, since seventh grade. Marcus Jordan, like, yeah. convo every time I see him, it's, yeah. it's love. That's what's up, that's man. Dope. That's what's I just can't imagine. If Mike said any, first of all, every story I've heard about Michael Jordan from on TV to anything, they say the man is elevating or some shit like that. Yeah, like that when he's glowing. He glowing, <laughs> like he got a glow or something. <laughs> And uh, I remember Shannon Sharp's story. He was like, he was sizing Mike up. And he was like, he ain't that big. But he was, he said, as he was thinking about him, bro was elevating off the ground. I'm like, what? So what was it like, like the first time you met Mike or seen Mike? Was you like, damn, that's Mike? Um, I don't feel like I feel feel like I wasn't because of the environment I was in. Because I'm at the camp or I'm at a tournament, so so your mind. I'm not really fanned Mm -hmm. out at that time. But if I'm probably going to see him at his game, I'm gonna go crazy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let me ask you this: so, so you said you got the Columbia's what what grade? Uh, that was pre K. Okay, so that means Mike might not have been your favorite basketball player, right? No, I ain't understand the game like that to so, at least at, I till I was like eight, nine years old. Yes, what I'm saying. So who was your favorite basketball player? Like outside of Mike? Yeah. 
Um, I like I like everybody. I like Kobe. I like Iverson. I like because uh, so, my my thing would be like okay. So now if Kobe said, "Hey, I see you out there killing my son," would it been different from Mike said? Uh, okay, okay. Hey, I see you killing my son. Because if Mike told me that, like I'm fainting. If Kobe told me that, I'm fainting. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you get what I'm saying? Like nah, I would, it, it, you couldn't do that. Like I say in that situation, where the kids doing that though. Yeah, they they was. It yeah. was kids doing that. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, it was kids I would, I would, on some I would being extra. That. Yeah. But I was I was I'm quiet into yeah, myself. You are. So you are. I'm trying to be cool yeah, and yeah. nonchalant and yeah. I'm trying to act like I've been here before, but yeah. I'm excited. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm excited. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mike gonna know who with me. <laughs> It's Mike. Yo, nah, it is, though. It's Mike. Yeah, it's nah, Mike. Mike. Real. For, for Mike to say anything to, to you, you, and he knows, he know, he visually knows your face. Did you right? Ever, did you ever talk shit to his sons? Or you ain't? Nah, I, I didn't talk. Like I ain't talk like that. His son used to talk to me on the court, though. Like, Tommy, when you get a jump shot? Because uh-huh. I really couldn't shoot that well when I was young. Like, okay. I was more hard handles and getting the pain and yeah. finish or make somebody, mm-hmm. make somebody else better. But. My jump shot started developing at a fast. Yeah. I, that's why I started scoring so easy. Mm-hmm. I remember he, he'll uh, say stuff like okay, slick man. stuff like that in the game. Like I remember you, um, you was telling uh, well, I don't know if you was telling us or I, or I heard this, but John Wall just giving you mad credit. Like, oh, yeah, you know, you're sure. the hardest person that I ever had to hold yeah. in my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. So John, just John get, Wall made all defensive team. Did he? Like? Did he? I believe so. That's tough. That's tough. I mean, just just these 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 these. Who was all on Jay Wall's team? Because that was that team at North Carolina. But it was uh, that, in Kentucky. That, yeah, Kentucky. He did uh, him, Daniel Orton, Demarcus, Demarcus Cousins, Cousins okay. Deron Lamb, them. Yeah, that was that's just, that was a special group. Darius bro. Miller and uh, Eric Blesso. I want to tell you this personally. I don't know if I ever told you in, in, in person what you did to Avery Bradley um, <laughs> against Texas was one of the most Remarkable things I ever seen in my How much life. How you drop on this again? Uh, twenty five. <laughs> twenty five and like six assists. We won at at OU. They beat us at their place. Yeah, that that was that was that was one for the books. But um, you bought some kicks with you today. Yeah. All right, let's tap into it. Cut it. All right, so TMG brought some heat for us. Let's check it out. What you got for us, T? I got the black pad, Joe Fresh Goods. Them Witherspoon. It was Witherspoon. Oh, I'm tripping. Sean Witherspoon. My yeah. bad. My yeah. guy, Sean Witherspoon. Uh, like everything he doing. Mm-hmm. Like I say, I like to go into their story and how they came up. And you know, he got the stood around two store. Mm-hmm. And I'm big. He closed round two, did you not? I'm big into. I'm big into how he do his style with the. He mixing the new modern swag with the vintage. Yo, it's yeah. nice, bro. I love that. Oh, you got oh, there both. you go, white. It's the white pair. Yes, sir. And, and you, you wear your shoes, I can tell. Yeah, I wear, yeah, you wear for your sure. shoes. For sure. Got to. Joints dope, dope. I did the, uh, the ZX 420 joints. 420 uh, inspiration to these joints. Yeah. You got the uh, stash po- uh, pocket at the top. Yeah. Harry. Yeah. Joints nice. I'm big on the um, 80s and 90s Adidas the runners. Mm. These joints done. So that's a dope colorway. Yeah, yeah. I like these joints. Pocket on the top. I did the uh the ZX eight thousand gray bricks. They did like five colorways of these. I got the black pad and the gray pad. Okay. That's the Lego joint. Yeah. Yeah. I had uh I still haven't wore these, yeah. I had these for over a year. Man, this boy bringing some flavor to the yeah. set. Man, this is a different style right here. This was up. Oh, that's joint that's dope to me. Like yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A fire. Hell yeah. What else you got, T? I seen y'all had these on here. Yeah, I love the 70 chucks. I love the 70 style chucks. Real comfortable. Yeah. More cushiony. Yeah. I like the way they actually stand up. They don't yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. That's, 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 the, that's the good thing about them. They got some weight to them. Ain't that the off white of 70, if I'm not mistaken? Nah. No? It's not. It's not? Okay. Don't flop over. Nice. What else you got for us? 
the uh, the Reebok Classic makes mm-hmm. more jump. These joints you gotta have on a split toe socks to get your foot in these. You gotta have a split toe Let socks. Did oh. it come with the split toe socks? Yeah, they came with a I pair of Margiela socks. Nah, that's that's them joints fire. Nah, them joints stupid fire. Different, man. Huh? You came with some different stuff, T. Man, nobody ain't bring this to the shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, this it's something we needed on the show. This is different. My favorite sneaker story right now. These the uh, laundry boy Puma suede. Oh, oh, okay, come with a laundry, the laundry tag. Oh yeah, and they got the detail to hand wash. Oh man, that's Dope. crazy. Check that out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, the details. So, so for me, just looking at all the sneakers that you brought, you into the details. The details. Yeah, I'm, to. I'm into the details, and I'm trying to stay out of everybody's way. Nah, for sure. And I'm not. I'm not big on just. I feel like you shouldn't have to reach out to nobody and be plugged in to get a kit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I'm going with the heat I can get, the heat people not thinking about. Man. I got a, um, I got a Atmos Superstar Crazy Animal on the way. I just ordered it from StockX, mm-hmm. but the, uh, the 95, the Atmos 95, the animal print, yeah. it's a super, he did, he did a uh, collab, he did a design on the Superstars. Wow. Okay. They, them joints ill. Okay. So, so from when I'm digesting from just our conversation, T had the opportunity to get everything already, right? right. So now in his, his older stages of life, he's more into the different styles, the details, and everything else, because you've not already seen everything else. SDX mm-hmm. is crazy. Mm-hmm. Man, just looking at it, it actually looks like, man. like weed. Like, like some yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that nah. shit was crazy. These joints is crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie. This is this is probably one of the more um, eclectic oh. joints that been brought here. Yeah. Besides, uh, what's our man name that do the coffee shop? David. David Tippin. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. had he had he had some eclectic. I watched stuff all too. y'all shows. Yeah, he, I watched he, all of them. We shows. appreciate that. We appreciate you. But uh, yeah, man, that's that's fine. Let me see that. Yeah, that that is that is Bola. insane. Bola, I, yeah, you, you gonna you gonna cop that bola? This is insane. <laughs> Your bowl, of, you got that look in your eye. I can tell. It, it. You got that look in your eye, bowler. What you gonna do? <laughs> I can find these. Nah, for sure. Oh, uh, before we get out of here, man, what you got on your feet, bowler? I got the 2015 lows. Mm-hmm. Go wrong with them. What you were saying about uh, those joints, uh, Bentley? I heard you having a conversation. Oh, man, like the whole 2000. I don't I'm serious. I'm not serious. Point of like lows yet. Yeah. No, nobody really grabs. Like, and then that big check, like you can't even get that big check. You can't get the big check no more. Five hundred. And like, mm. right. So right. so so what I was telling Ben it was like nobody was buying lows at that point, right? Mm-hmm. So I got all of the colorways on discount off of Nike.com. Wow. So they were doing like a deep discount because nobody was buying them. So. I got ahead of the curve. I, could. Yeah. I got some low ones for like fifty five dollars yeah. on the finish line. Wow, white, yeah. black, and red joint. They, okay. was, they was giving them away at one point because nobody was buying. Was, low. Just like twenty sixteen, mm-hmm. still got them. Uh, and they and they are fire. What you got on your feet, T? Uh, I got on a pair of uh, Nigel K Bond Vans, OG mm-hmm. style, twenty four style, OG twenty four style. Who is it, Nigel? Uh, Nigel K Bond. I want everybody to know who Nigel K Bond is. He Super ill, like he one of my goats at this point. Mm. Like over the Virgils and the Kanyes and the oh, Pharrells yeah? and the Negos. Mm. He been in business for fifty years. Okay, he got collabs with Vans, Converse, Danner boots, mm-hmm. the Sewer Coke sandals, Timex watches. Mm. Go Why check the them out. Found out about him. I found out about him. I watch uh, Soul Orgies on YouTube. Mm-hmm. The UK, the UK section was about uh, a lot of the terrorist culture uh-huh. and like they fashion scene and everything. So I'm big in the terrorist culture right now too. Mm-hmm. It's a store called Oak Paloy. The dude Nigel Lawson is a uh, uh, the buyer for that store mm-hmm. for like the last twenty years. Okay. He had a saying that was saying, uh, "It's only cool when nobody know what it is. Mm. Once everybody know what it is, it's no longer cool." That, but that's true. 
And that resonated with me. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like that. Like, yeah. once you own it, yeah. if you can see me and you know what I'm doing, mm -hmm. I ain't really like, feeling cool. Ah, I late. like that. I like that, late, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's yeah. dope. So I find out who Nigel Lawson is. Go to Oak Paloy. I'm browsing Oak Paloy websites. I, like I said, I go through all the pages. I'm yeah. always browsing. When you click on something, I like how he, like how he, his description, uh -huh. when he talk about it, he's speaking, he's speaking at a, at a language I can understand. Yeah. Versus if you in the descriptions on sex and demons or something, mm -hmm. when you see how he describe his stuff, you gonna love him. Yeah. So I come across a uh, Nigel Kabine piece when I'm browsing the sites. Mm -hmm. I liked it, a lot of his pieces. So I'm like, nah, okay, they got four or five pieces on here. I'm finna go to the Nigel Kabine website. Mm -hmm. I go to the Nigel K. Bond website, fall in love. Uh, I go to his, I stay on his Instagram through Google mm -hmm. for like seven hours. Wow. I go back to 2012 on his page. Yeah. Wow. He that dope. Oh, man, Nigel K. Bond. Check him out for I'm sure. Creeping though, no IG, but you on IG. Yeah, I'm, I'm on, I'm on, yeah, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on a few of the celebrities' page. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My fashion people. He yeah. like, he like we hoes. Go, we go he like we hoes. He like hoes. I know hoes has some type of secret <laughs> IG, bro. Hey, like, Jay come to the crib. I'm finna browse his. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know. But Nigel K. Bond, man, he he go level. Okay. Nah, well, uh, I have on uh, the uh, 15 Joy AJ. 15s man one of my favorite shoes man oh yeah dope pattern man i think it took a lot when the 15 first dropped mm -hmm. i couldn't get with it i think as i got older mm -hmm. and saw that they weren't coming out like that anymore yeah. i think that's when i was like man i gotta get a pair These especially the lows man. it was it was a tough follow following that 14 you know oh, what i'm saying sure. that's a it's a tough yeah. uh, the ferrari 14 you, you always think of you know what i mean but yeah. i love it though i love, I love, I love the 15 though I, I, did I did it. I did. I, I, I remember that. I remember that white and gray one came out. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. white and baby blue one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, man, I'm white and baby blue one. I was special. Yeah. Like Saturday morning game. Man, that was early. Special. I think that was 20, 2001. Was it 2001, like 2002? What, just did. This yeah. was about 16. What is this? 16, 17, one of those. Mm -hmm. But but it originally came out like 02. Nah, nah, they, nah. Gotta be, gotta they came out like 2000, uh, 99. 99. Nah, yeah, 99, 99. Okay, it was 99. Okay, okay. It was 99. Uh, ben, what you got on, Ben? I got on uh, questions, uh, burnt rubber joints. Mm. Uh, I mean, you know, another mm -hmm. one of our black boutiques. You know what I mean? I was kind of early in the game of just when I first started like traveling around, going to boutiques and everything. Right. So it was like one of those collabs that you know, I just fuck with. Man, I'm joints dope, yeah. bro. Yeah. The, the questions... Most of the collabs that I have seen, I know Steph had a pair on the, uh, a couple of weeks ago too. I'm like, yo, them joints is fire, bro. Them joints is real fire, man. Never owned a pair of questions, and I really? always wanted a pair. I remember it was it was me and my boy Collins, shooter now, <laughs> but this chick brought had a pair. She was brand new to our school. She had the uh, the blue pair, the oh, uh, blue metallic too. blue. Oh, that's what I want. Yeah, she I don't, came, I don't have that one. She bro. came with the metallic blue. We had to have been in like sixth grade. Mm -hmm. I was like, what shoe is that? Yeah. Never got my hands on a metallic. Did a metallic ever drop blue? The real metallic blue yeah, ever dropped it, it has. It has. It, it has a higher resale than all the other ones, too. Okay. That if you, if that, at, that one right there, that's yeah. that's a special. Oh, one. yeah. That metallic that's a special blue. shoe, man. Well, TNG, bro, you came through. And we talk way more than basketball, man. You yeah. you you gave us some real gems, and you brought some real gems to the set. So, man, we appreciate you for sure, man. This was a dope episode, man. So, uh, anything else before we get out of here, fellas? I gotta see them. <laughs> for real, I gotta see for them, real. man. That's episode fifty six. We out, man. Out of here. All right, baby.